This is the National Video Journalist Network. Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we've traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. For 15 years, the Long Island Arts Alliance has been supporting the arts in our area. Roger Tillis started the organization when he realized that the Long Island art scene wasn't getting proper recognition. Even though we had the New York Philharmonic would come from Lincoln Center to, and do the same concert at our hall the next night, our patrons even thought, well, it's really not the same, you know. So we really needed to beef up the what is really world-class art institutions on Long Island and make sure that our people know that that was the case. Getting competing arts organizations to join forces for the greater creative good of the island was slow and difficult, but over the years, the Long Island Arts Alliance has grown. We have over 100 arts institutions now that are involved with the Long Island Arts Alliance as members, and I think people realize that uh, it's a, it's, it helps them and helps everyone to have a vibrant art scene on Long Island. A vibrant art scene is more than just top-notch performances. It also includes arts education, which is why a special Long Island couple is being honored at the upcoming LIAA gala. Melissa Errico and Patrick McEnroe are important to us because they're from Long Island and in their own ways have really become influential people. Pat in the TV area and Melissa, who's performed at the Tilla Center, has become a great Broadway star. It's exciting to see what Long Island has produced. What Long Island has produced is a set of parents that value the arts and sports enough to incorporate it into their family motto. We do have a motto, one sport, one art. We have three daughters. Uh, I do think it's important to have relief from the thing you're focusing on. I think that's half the battle to excelling at something actually is to give yourself a rest from it and have a sense of there is something else. But also I um, think that sports are awesome, but um, don't the arts say are better. Don't say but. No, but. <laughs> the sports are awesome <laughs> and the arts are great too. Right. And I wish I had done more as a kid in the arts. So my parents tried to expose us, the three McEnroe boys, to uh, some arts, but we were obviously totally into sports and uh, especially into tennis. And as a child, Melissa was totally into the arts. I got trained on Long Island. Port Washington School of Ballet, the Sport of the Future Gymnastics, an amazing place. American Dance Machine, all the facilities of Hofstra, I took full mm. advantage of. You know, what I've always loved about the arts, you have to be so passionate about it. And it's sort of like, you know, being a, a tennis player or an athlete. And I've seen with her over the years how much passion she has for what she does and also what it takes. You know, because people see tennis players out there at the U.S. Open and they think, oh, they're just great tennis players. But they don't. I realize all the work and all the details that went into it. And the same in the arts. The Long Island Arts Alliance shares the same sentiment, and it launched a program for schools to recognize artists as enthusiastically as their athletes. Well, what we at Newsday love so much about the Scholar Artist Awards program is that we get to make stars out of these kids. We bring them in for a professional photo shoot. Uh, through Newsday, we publish the profiles of the students, and at the same time, we're really highlighting and showcasing the high quality, talented arts educators that are here on Long Island, the high schools that do a great job, the school districts that do a great job, nurturing the talent of these students. Although the Long Island Arts Alliance is celebrating 15 years, the upcoming gala is only its first. So on September 28th, join the fun and support the arts. Visit longislandartsalliance.org backslash gala.